In Planet Coaster, sometimes the randomly generated supports can look very, very ugly. Just like this one here. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I make them look better? Well, it's custom support. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the logic behind custom supports and the best way to make them. So, here are some of the main pieces you'll need. So, I am using the Premier Rides. Premier Skyrocket, which I think is, I think it's the top. I have the renaming mod on, but it's this one here. Because it's probably the easiest one to custom support because of the fine it has. The hardest one has got to be the wooden ones. The pieces you'll need are the connector, the actual support, a flange, and the foundations. So, first of all, I like to put more than a group ready and make sure they're all the correct colour which I want the supports to be. Sometimes for pieces you don't need custom support in, like here, it all like it's just normal. It looks nice normally. But here I've turned all custom supports off for the ride. And uh, yeah, let's start custom supporting. First things first, you would need to grab your connector and then I turn on a line to surface. I'm gonna have my first support around here angle snap on just like that and then to find these pieces you're going to build in wall framework i'm going to use this coaster support here is you get your support edit the scenery group you go like there and then we've got the cut coaster support here i'm just going to use let's find the support i'm going to use here so the forces against the train are pushing down against here so you have one going against where it is pushing and you have one going like straight down then you will need a flange there so let's grab our flange here we go we've got our flange here let's put it into the right position so these two pieces here connect to each other that's why i use the flange that should be enough for this because it's only a small custom support and then now you get the final piece which is the foundations right so now we have one custom support bear in mind this can take a lot and a lot of time to fully custom support everything so all you really need to do is think about the forces so we're gonna do this next the heartline roll or a corkscrew i don't really know what this element is it's just a nice roll what we're gonna do here is we're literally just gonna copy this support here rotate it round this way because that's where the force is coming from you will have to spread out this one there put the support down here get the footer foundations put it in boom so yeah all you really want to do when custom supporting is thinking of where does the fat where is the force is pushing this one on elements where they're upside down most of the time you won't need to custom support the top like here i won't need to custom support it as there's not much force going up it it and uh but elements where it, it's pulling up here will need a lot of uh custom support and same with like this bit here where it's pushing down very hard against the ground against the turn same with big twists as well that will push quite hard against the ground but then like when it's floating up at the top of airtime hills when it's pushing again away from the track which is airtime which is called negative forces you won't need to custom support there here i'm just uh custom supporting this large bit so i've split it into three sections to add more sturdiness you'll see this in lots of custom supports but i was also getting up loads of references and uh, also a quick tip for custom supporting uh make sure the flanges are in places where it would it would seem realistic to where it could fit on a truck um but yeah it doesn't matter how weird your custom supports can be uh i've seen some very funky custom supports and that is custom supporting if you guys need any help with custom supporting feel free to join the discord uh in the description and uh, i'll give you tips on your custom supporting and how to make it look better but 
I'm just going to quickly give you guys a POV. This will be in my new park that I'm currently working on. It's an adventure park. It's called Mania Adventure. Keep in mind, fully custom supporting a ride can take up to two hours. Like, one of the rides I've made the park is so small. It was the first ride I've ever custom supported. And it was just so long to custom support. But it looks so much better. Definitely the best ride I've ever made. Yeah, so on this coaster, I used that smoothing, smoothing technique and some mods. They're both... Uh, on my channel, you can go watch them both tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next one.